Hey guys, and welcome to Pro Wrestling Unlimited. Now, thanks to Pro Wrestling Sheet, we have learned some stuff about the Billy Corgan lawsuit against TNA. Pro Wrestling Sheet has obtained a large chunk of documents pertaining to the lawsuit Billy Corgan filed against TNA, and it appears that he had a very big problem with TNA entertaining offers and a possible buyout deal from the WWE. According to the court documents, Corgan wants TNA to admit that they have defaulted on a loan that they were supposed to pay him back on in June. This would have allowed Corgan control over the company, meaning that he could fire top people and replace them with his own. The document also claims that he informed Dixie of the default a few days before Bound for Glory. PW Insider is reporting that Corgan wants the company to admit that they cannot afford to pay their debts. Carter and Impact Ventures, however, have both filed responses saying they're not insolvent. No additional documents were given to support their claims, and Billy is asking that the court make them prove it. Billy Corgan also wants TNA to turn over all documents sent or received from WWE or any of its representatives from January 1st, 2016 to present day. This would include emails, letters, correspondence, invoices, and all documents relating to or referencing any negotiations between them and WWE regarding WWE's potential acquisition of them or any of their assets. Another interesting note is Corgan has put in the lawsuit that he wants to know the exact location and ownership of the full TNA tape library. From what we have also learned, it looks as if TNA is not allowed to make any sort of business deals pertaining sales or purchases or acquisitions. Most most of it sale type things, either selling parts of the company, bringing in new investors, or selling parts of the tape library until the whole Billy Corgan lawsuit is taken care of. So what does this mean? From what I have heard, Billy, when he found out that TNA and Dixie were talking with WWE, he got mad because he found out second hand. He didn't find out from Dixie. He didn't find out from John Gaborik. He found out from other people on the outside. He felt if he was such a big, I guess, investor in the company and a quote unquote president, he should have known that Dixie was entertaining offers from the WWE. And then when he found out, you know what? She's just taking my money and I'm not going to get this company. Boom. That's when he struck with the lawsuit. So this is all very, very interesting. And we have learned that the Fight Network wants the tape library. But until this whole Billy Corgan thing is taken care of, they can't give any of that tape library or sell any of that tape library to the Fight Network. So all of this, it's like, hey, Billy Corgan gets what he wants or you guys really can't do anything if any more news does come up on Billy Corgan's lawsuit against TNA, we will bring it to you here on Pro Wrestling Unlimited. Remember, guys, comment below, like, and share this video. Like us on Facebook, and subscribe here on YouTube.